Hi guys, today can we talk about sniper entry using 15 minutes? So this is where you get into a trade that you will not go a lot of pips in drawdown. And your stop loss can be ranging from 20 pips, 15 pips, 5 pips, name it. But you need to know what are you doing. You can't just enter on 15 minutes if you have not done your analysis on higher time frame. So guys, this is a very, very quick video. I want to show you how to do sniper entry using 15 minutes. But remember, our analysis will still start from daily. So this is Euro USD. I want to give an example with Euro USD. We are on our daily time frame. And the minute you want to get these sniper entries is when you are sure of the market, you're sure of the direction. So if I find my chart in this position, the first thing that comes in my mind, I may say we might have a double, we might have a double bottom. It has not happened, but I'm anticipating. So I might have a possible double bottom because I need to be sure of what uh, the, the side I'm getting in. Am I involving myself in buying the market or selling in the market? So if at all we have a double, uh, a possible double bottom, I'll be very comfortable buying in this market and my confidence will increase when I get a sniper entry using 15 minutes. Mind you guys, I have not gone to 15 minutes. I've not, I'm not on four hour. I'm on daily time frame. So those people who say, oh, I want to use 15 minutes, start with daily. So this is a possible double bottom, but we can see clearly that the market has not, this leg, the first leg has touched, but the, the second leg has not touched our zone because it needs at least to touch this zone to make it a validated double bottom. So we are waiting on daily. Don't shift your time frame to four hour. Why? You will enter so early. So many people just say, let me just enter. But the, the, the price has not tapped into this zone. So you are still waiting on four hour, on daily time frame, sorry. And you be coming every single day to look at your chart. So uh, the next day, the market didn't tap. So you don't have to go to four hours to 15 minutes. You'll just be wasting your time. You are waiting for first of all the market to tap uh this zone so the next day the market tapped the zone so you have to ask yourself two questions yes my market has tapped the zone and then the next question you need to ask yourself which candle has formed on the daily time frame after the market has printed uh, has has tapped the zone in this case it's a green candle a green candle is a good indication why because you can see sellers have been rejected for two days what if Yes, we had a tap, but that candle was the red one. Let's say we had a tap, but the candle was red candle. What would we have done? You would have waited until, until a green candle prints. So let's say we have a tap like that. We have a tap like that, but the candle, it is still red. So what do you do? You will still wait for a green candle to show you that sellers are unable to push that market. So in this case, you will wait at least for a green candle to show you that sellers are unable to break the support. So guys, the reason why we have been uh, at advantage is because the candle that tapped our zone is the same candle that has turned green. So we don't need to wait again. So never go to four hour if the market is still red, never go to four hour if the candles are still red. So we are going to four hour to look for buy. Why? Because the market has tapped our zone and the candle is green. I hope that is clear. So let's continue. So we can now go to four hour. We are looking for four hour. What is happening? Because we know that this is a, a double bottom. Now, before we go to four hour, we need to mark our neckline. So guys, this is our neckline. Very quickly, we have marked our neckline. So this is our neckline. If we mark our neckline, we need to know the place where the market has to go first. The, the correct or the accurate take profit is that the distance of the neckline to the double bottom. That's what this, this position is the most accurate. Many people will get it wrong. Why? They will enter by here and target, and I can put that color green, meaning it's our take profit line or zone. 
So many people will enter by and target neckline. Let me tell you, any double top, any double bottom, the first take profit is half of the neckline to the where the, the bottom is starting. That half, this is the place that you should be targeting your take profit. So let's go to 4-hour and see what is happening. First of all, in 4-hour, we need to see momentum in happening. We need to see break of structure. Many of the times that I would wait break of structure with 4-hour, so I would come again and say, until the market breaks structure here, I'm not getting in. Because it's clear indication that buyers are still weak. So I would wait again the market to break. And if the market breaks, it's near my take profit. But now I have a trick. As long as we have break of structure in the lower time frame, as long as I have break of structure in 15 minutes, it has a validated my trade. That's all. You need to have break of structure at least in 15 minutes to validate this trade. And again, before you go to 15 minutes, you still to need to see momentum in 4 hours. What is this candle? We have a bullish engulfing candle. If I had a doji or a candle that is not engulfing, I would wait for at least momentum in the market. So for me, I would wait the price to come all the way and break this zone. But now I know better. I will use 15 minutes to check if I have break of structure. For now, we have momentum because of bullish engulfing candle, but we can't enter immediately. We would enter here. If you enter at this point, it is not sniper. Your stop loss will be very, very high. It will be 85 pips. So how would you avoid getting in here to have very tight stop loss? And that's what I'm. Uh, the video is all about. Uh, it's about... Sniper entry using 15 minutes. So you'll go to 15 minutes. The first thing that you want to check is their break of structure. We want to see if there's break of structure. Remember on 4 hour, if you check 4 hour, break of structure is this uh, zone. But 15 minutes, do you have break of structure? Yes, we have break of structure. The market broke structure. Guys, you can see we have break of structure. Like buyers are in control. So you might think... Uh, I want to put my sell order this position because you are not there to check if the market will go down. But again, you can go down to five minutes. You can reduce or check if there's break of structure again in five minutes. Let's go and see in five minutes. So this is what happens. The market broke structure using this zone in 15 minutes. This is the zone we want to break structure in four hours. But in five minutes, where did the break of structure happen? It happened, uh, the market broke structure, but where is our order block? Our order block is this small green candle. It's the one that made this momentum go high. So very quickly, we will spot that order block in five minutes. If there was no order block in five minutes, we would go with 15 minutes. So you have even to go down to five minutes to look for that sniper entry. So that is what we have in five minutes. So the yellow part is what we want. So all you need to do is to go and put your buy limit. So our buy limit is 0 0.3885. And then your stop loss, your stop loss is below this candle. It's below this, that's our order block. So let's see how many pips are those. The pips are 21 pips. So 21 pips is your stop loss. If you entered immediately around here, how much would you, how much would your, uh, how much stop loss would you put? 87. So imagine 20 pips to 87 pips. So we are putting our order. Remember, buy order already. The order is there. You are just waiting for the market to activate. So this is where we, we think the market may come. Our stop loss is just there. 21 pips only. Our take profit. Remember where we said halfway? We said halfway. Target halfway. Don't target the neckline. Target halfway. Target halfway. So let me go to 15 minutes and expound that so that I can be able to see it. So we have said we are targeting half. Where is our half? The green, uh, where we have marked green. That's our half. You can imagine 
this is a sniper entry and our stop loss is very small see the market there are people who have entered here they are waiting to enter here when the market breaks there's someone who has entered immediately there but for us we have put our sell uh, our buy limit so guys if you put your buy limit let's see how many pips will be getting in this trade if it goes our direction 182 pips guys 182 pips so that is our our chart so we want to let me now delete these lines i want to see what really happened so let's um let's play the playback mode and see what happened you see you see guys see our stop loss was never it was never touched Stop loss was never touched. This market came down, activated our order. It activated our order, never came to the place where we had imagined our stop loss. And then after that, it went all the way to our take profit. All the way, 182 pips, guys. So this is where you trade a sniper entries using daily time frame, using 4 hour and eventually going to 15 minutes, even reducing it to 5 minutes to look for that perfect entry. I hope you have understood. If you have not, you will rewatch this video multiple times to understand what is happening. This is a very, very easy trade. And when the market now reaches our half, we don't mind unless they break this resistance the market may not come to our neckline immediately it will take time so this is the first way to get any entry any sniper entry and to squeeze every peep in the market thank you so much for watching guys until next time bye bye love you